welcome back to Vacancy at Vanilla's episode 29. How's everyone doing? What's up? New week. Um, we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> we have a lot to catch up on. And we're not going to go into it too much. I actually just started recording um, for like three minutes and I stuttered so many times. I legit was like, am I having a stroke? Like I, I had to restart. <laughs> but um, I hope everyone had a great week. Um, I sure as hell did not. <laughs> so we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. I actually had the worst week of my entire life uh, mentally and physically and emotionally. Um, mostly, mostly mentally and emotionally, though. Uh, I had the worst week of my life, but we're going to get into it and we're not going to make this, we're not going to make this a feel bad for vanilla thing. You know, it's just more of a thing where I want you guys to know that like you guys are not the only people that feel this way. And I'm not, not all of you feel this way, but you know, everyone's <laughs> me, not all you feel that this way. Also everyone, <laughs> you know, people, we have our ups and downs as fucking humans. So um, long story short, last episode I talked about, I'm pretty sure that I, I, the episode was called Vanilla Zandemic. So I got into how uh, I had to take a Xanax, um, <clears throat> because I had a panic attack in the middle of the night because Chai woke me up. Um, and that was kind of the beginning of the end. That was, that was the beginning of the end for me. And, uh, it just, it, the, that that week just turned into turmoil, really. It, it, this past week was just absolute fucking turmoil for me. So um, that kind of, I don't know what, it, it unlocked something inside of me. It, it brought out the beast and the, the beast, doesn't Alyssa Edwards? <laughs> it brought out the beast in me and um, I struggle with anxiety, as you all know, please. It's not a freaking secret, but depression not really not really so much and I'm very grateful that I'm not someone who normally feels depressed I'm very 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 grateful for that um because I know that that is a, a something that a lot of people deal with and um that is just not something that I have personally really struggled with that bad obviously we all have our days but um it's not really something that's like a constant thing on my mind but um and also, as you guys know, I upped my Lexapro dosage from 10 milligrams to 15 milligrams because I was on 10 for fucking God knows how long years. Uh, Lexapro is the only medication that I've ever been on. Um, I've always been too scared to try something else because I don't want to go through the having to taper off of something, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I upped my dosage to 15 and uh, that this so this was probably, yeah, I would say three, min three months into me um, taking the 15 milligrams and I... Dude, this past week, I literally felt like my whole world was caving in. Like I had nothing to live for. Fucking nothing was bringing me joy. Things that I even used to like to do. I'm like anything right now. If I went to do anything right now, it would get it would send me into a panic spiral. Like just I was just on the verge of a panic attack for 24 hours a day for damn near a week straight. It was so fucking exhausting. I had no appetite. Like I couldn't fucking sleep. And then, and then it just sent me in, into a spiral. And I'm like, if I don't sleep, then I'm going to fucking go crazy. And I'm, I'm fucking crazy. Like I just, it, I just spiraled. I literally was Twitch streaming, trying to get my mind off of it. And I started crying on stream. I started crying on stream like a week ago and I had to have Cash come over and like talk me off a fucking ledge. Um, and it was just the worst week ever. I just felt my body. And then I got my period on top of all that. I'm like, oh, great. Anything else? Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone have anything? Any other ailments for me at this time? No. OK, so it was just like everything everywhere all at once. I still never seen that movie. Should I see that movie or no? Um, maybe not at this time because I heard it's a sad one. So I don't want to get a spiral. Again. <laughs> um, and then uh, I even like things that I would have done before and done fine and had a good time doing. I was like, this is going to send me into a fucking spiral. So I went to go do um, the gameplay test. I don't know if I was telling you guys about that, but there's this play center where they, they basically pay you to play video games and, um, <clears throat> you sign up and if you match their like thing, whatever, for whatever game that they're play testing, you go, you sign an NDA. It's like all for these games that are just unreleased and you play the game and then you get paid. Um, the last time I did it, it was really fun. We played a, um, a team game so it was just like us and all the other people that were they were playing together and um I could talk about the game now because it's literally almost out there's like 
fucking promo and ads for it. It was called Marvel Rivals. It's like a Overwatch version, like a Marvel Overwatch. I don't know. It was actually fucking sick. It was so much fun. Like, I probably will buy it when it comes out because that shit was fun as hell. And we were all, like, talking to each other. And the time went by really fast. Um, and I got picked to do another play test. And I really didn't sleep that great the night before because I was anxious and went to the play test. On the way there, I was just so fucking anxious because I'm like, it's far away from my house. Oh, my God. Because that's been another thing lately for me. Um, another thing that I like focus on for some fucking reason is being far away from my house. And I'm like, what if I had a panic attack? What if I girl shut the fuck up? Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> it just it's literally like the angel and the devil on my shoulder. Literally, one of them is just like, girl, shut up. And the other one is just like, well, what if this one? <laughs> Girl, I just want to punch that little motherfucker in his mouth, dude. I literally hate that guy. <laughs> I hate that guy in my head. I fucking hate him. Fucking kill him. I hate him. Um, so, yeah, it's just I kind of like obsess over these thoughts where something bad is going to happen. And uh, so I went to the play center thing and it's, I just was so fucking anxious. I was just on the verge of a panic attack the whole fucking time. And I was like, I have to leave. And I left and I freaking drove all the way back home. And even on the way home, I was anxious. And then guess what? I got home still fucking anxious. And that was making me anxious because I'm like, no, this is my safe space. This is the one place I'm not supposed to be anxious. And now I'm anxious. <laughs> what do we do? Spiraled, spiraled, spir I, dude. Also, shout out to the Valley Girl, my lash tech. Valley Girl, if you're watching, I have never cried so much in my fucking life than I did last week I'm, I'm due for a fill in two days and I actually still have some lashes left I still have some lashes left. I cried so much this week and my lashes there's still some hanging on um so shout out to her <laughs> but uh even well yesterday I I started to feel like a person again I went to work um and then today was a little on edge this morning when I woke up, but then, you know, felt felt better. Um, and like falling asleep has been kind of hard for me as well still. Um, but I literally was like, am I going to have to go to the Cuckoo Banana House? The psych ward. Um, I was like, am I going? Am I, do I got to go to the Cuckoo Place? Do I have to bring myself there? Like it was to the point where I was like, am I losing it, guys? <laughs> am I losing my marbles? Yes or no? Um it was just really scary and it was sad and what was stressing me out more was that I just felt like nothing was bringing me joy and that like everything sucked and uh and I miss my family I miss them so fucking bad um shout out to my mother she is a fucking angel sent from heaven I'm literally getting emotional right now <laughs> I don't want to cry um oh crying on the podcast ew <laughs> Uh, I love my mom so much and I literally don't know what the fuck I would do if she wasn't like on FaceTime and like calling me and checking on me this week because she is literally a godsend and oh my god dude I'm freaking crying what the oh this is so embarrassing I love my mother more than anyone <laughs> I love you worm <laughs> worm if you're watching I love you and um I'd FaceTime her in the middle of the night and she would answer <laughs> and she would, you know, she has to go to work in the morning. Like she has shit to do and she doesn't make me feel like a bother or like whatever. She has anxiety too. Um, her best friend died when she was 30 and she was like, Emily, imagine like, this is exactly how I felt when I was 30 and my best friend died, but I had two little kids running around. So I had to pull it together. She's like, you, like you can take you know, you are lucky that you can, you can fucking lay in bed all day if you need to lay in bed all day. Like I am so grateful that I have money saved and like stuff where if I need to take a fucking break for a week and just do absolutely nothing, like I can do that. Um, so she, she yeah, she really like helped with everything this past week and, um, shout out to all my friends, seriously, like everyone that checked in on me, all, all of you guys in the discord and the Twitch community and like fucking everyone, seriously, thank you for checking in on me. Um, and I had my therapy appointment yesterday and uh, she is fucking amazing. And I know I talked about my old therapist who no, no tea, no shade, like nothing against her, but um, she just was not it. Like she was cool, but she was not it. This lady, she's like, we're going to be doing, um, what is it called? Something behavioral therapy. What the hell is it called? I don't know. It's like some sort of behavioral therapy kind of a thing. Um, 
And I actually wrote a bunch of it down in my notes. And she was like, uh, <clears throat> why can't I think of what it's called? Anyway, um, she was like telling me all these things and I'm literally writing them down in my notes. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she's just, you know, just kind of like stuff that can kind of like talk me off of a fucking ledge when I'm having a panic attack. And it's more things of like, you're essentially having to fucking rewire your brain. Like this shit is not like overnight. Like it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but essentially you have to rewire your fucking brain and you got to make yourself think like differently because my response to everything is to just, is just like a fucking fight or flight to every fucking situation. I'm just like, Whoa! <laughs> like why? And, um, she's like, I think that when you were younger, you probably found like comfort in fear, which I was like, Oh, she ate. Okay. Um, and she's like, so this is kind of your comfort zone now in a weird fucked up way, which I feel like that can go for a lot of things. Like some people who grew up in very chaotic households and just around a lot of yelling and, and fucking bad relationships and whatever, that is kind of their comfort zone. And in, in a weird way, it's like, you kind of will always seek people in your life that bring that fucking chaos. Um, if you grew up in like a chaotic, you know, household, like there's like, it, it's a lot of things. Um, so I feel like maybe since I was around a lot of anxious women, a lot of the women in my family are anxious and I don't know, maybe I was just an anxious child. I feel like I, that is my comfort zone. And, um, she was just saying, you know, just cause you have a thought, it doesn't mean that you have to identify with that thought people have thought you have thoughts all day long you do not have to identify with every thought that like comes in your brain and I'm like okay she's spitting she's spitting I'm typing I'm like okay okay and she's like I do you just have to use very powerful words with yourself and um whenever you think like I can't I won't I did it I did it you have to literally think the opposite like she was basically saying every time you have a worst case scenario situation absolute like turmoil in your brain you, you the worst thing that you could think of like when you have one of those moments, I want you to write it down and then I want you to write down the opposite. The oop, Discord notification. <laughs> she was like, I want you to write down the opposite. I want you to write down the best case scenario version of, of what could happen in that same situation. Example, I was on the fucking, I had a, the therapy appointment with her at 10 a.m. And I was like, you know what? I've been in the house all week. I, I'm like kind of going stir crazy just from being here. Um, and that's making me more anxious. Like maybe I should try to go back to work, right? But I was anxious about going to work because in my head, I'm like, what if I drive all the way there and I'm still anxious and then I get there and then and then I want to leave and then I can never go to work again because I'm always going to think about it as this place that's scary and anxious for me. Da, 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 da. And, then, and, then I, and then I can't work again and then I never make money. And it's a whole thing, right? That's my worst case scenario for that for that situation. She goes, OK, so what's your best case scenario? I'm like, uh, I go to work and I make money and it's good and whatever. She's like, no, 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 no. You need to really like use powerful like the the she's like the same way that you think about how bad that could be you need to do the fucking complete opposite like bitch really think about the best case scenario she's like you go in there <laughs> she's like you meet a guy and he is so nice and he gives you so much money and you have the best shift of your life like she's like you need to really talk to yourself like you need to use very powerful words with yourself she's like I need you to write down the exact opposite she's like because guess what both of those have the same probability of happening. Really? Like, and I'm like, wow, she ate. And then she's like, so why do you, you know, why do you trust in the bad one so much? I'm like, she was, dude, she was spitting for an hour straight. I was like, okay, okay. So <laughs> I'm just telling you guys these things. So hopefully this can help some of you as well. Um, and obviously this is not something that you, you think of it one time and it's like, ding, light bulb goes off in your brain and you're fucking cured. This is like something that you have to like, literally, you have to re fucking train your brain to think this way. It's, it, this takes months of practice. Essentially. It's like homework for your fucking brain. Um, and yeah, she just was like, your mind does love you and your mind learns through intention. I'm literally reading what she wrote intention, repetition, and consistency. And, um, you just have to, it's just all of that. You just have to be consistent and a lot of repetition and all that shit. And, and she's like, you know, we're going to go into it more deeply, but that's kind of the gist of this behavioral therapy uh, kind of a thing. Um, why can't I fucking think of what it's called? B something B T N B T C B T cognitive. Is it cognitive behavioral therapy? Cognitive, cognitive. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. 
wow i can't believe i freaking teared up on here that's insane i never in my life thought i would be crying on this damn podcast take the microphone away from me please but um yes so yesterday i did and guess what i went i went to work i was a little anxious when i got there but i fucking and and i did not expect to make any money i went more as a thing where i'm like i just need to talk to a fucking human being in, in real life please like i'm gonna lose my fucking marbles and i went to work i had a really good shift i made money one of my customers showed up it was a very easy like no one was rude to me um I, I, I kikied with my manager. I kikied with one of the girls. Like, it, and, and that was it. We just talked and chill. And it was a v- honestly best case scenario. Literally was my best case scenario. It fucking happened. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And I get to leave. The sun is still out because I did a day shift. And then Rachel had to go to Home Goods because she uh, she needs stuff. She's moving into a new apartment and she needs some stuff. So I was like, let's go to Home Goods. We went to Home Goods. We made a cute little vlog. Not vlog like YouTube, but like I'm going to post it on TikTok. We were just make, fucking taking stupid videos while we were in there. Had a good time. Came home. Fucking fell asleep eventually. That's it. And I'm like, oh my God, can you believe it? Um, but also the moment you all been waiting for. Because I did also, I had my therapy appointment yesterday, but today I had an appointment with a new psych, Okay. Because the last bitch was trying to put me on Abilify, which is a medication that literally makes people want to freaking <laughs> themselves <laughs> and has made people be like, blah, 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 blah. hello, am I on Abilify right now? <laughs> it's a it's a medication that's made people um like spend their entire life savings and, and then be like, what the fuck did I just do? Like it, it literally like sends you into like a psychosis. I'm like, oh, uh, queen, you don't think there's like 20,000 other medications that maybe we could try before we skip to this one? thank you my love like I just didn't think that was the best idea so um I got an appointment with a new one and uh she seemed way cooler and um so this is my tea guys new new medication new medication can you guys guess what it is place your guesses place your guesses the new medication that I'm going to be on starting today is Prozac. Yay. <laughs> can we get a can we get a clap in the chat? Prozac. Yay. Okay, and before I, please if any of you had a bad experience on Prozac, I want you to do this right now. I want you to shut your fucking mouth. Turn the key, throw it behind you. I don't need to hear that right now, okay? I am a hypochondriac. I am I am all of these things. I cannot be influenced by your bad stories. If you or anyone you know are on Prozac and love it, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know in the comments below because guess what? If it doesn't fucking work for me, I'm clearly, my, my brain's going to let me know, okay? But in the meantime, I would not like to stress about things that I don't have any control over. Um, so I'm going to, I am going to be trying Prozac. The good thing about Prozac is the, the psych was telling me, she's like, it's in the same family as Lexapro. So you can essentially just, you could take it tonight. You don't even, and you, it's like, you just switch right over. You don't have to taper yourself off or whatever. We don't have to do that. I said, beautiful. Cause that was another thing that I was worried about was having to taper myself back down. Um, cause in my fucking psycho panic of last week, I tapered myself from 15 back down to 10. Um, and, uh, yeah. So today uh, is like, I kind of feel like a normal person again, still not a hundred percent, you know, he- healing is not, uh, what's the term linear. It's not, it's not like, you know, it's, it's not like this, you know, every, it's, it's a little bit of bumpy and that's just kind of, that's how life is, you know? Um, but holy shit, I will never, ever, ever, ever take for granted feeling just like a normal fucking person ever again like holy shit and to see how many of you have felt the same way and experienced the same things oh also it's 4 4 4 p.m make a wish man i wish um <laughs> wait you don't even wish it's not a time to wish. girl whatever i'm wishing anyway now what now what angels what are you gonna do i wished now what <laughs> too late um so yeah, sorry, I don't. I didn't want to spend the whole fucking episode talking about this, so we're we're gonna move on. But uh, basically, just know that if you've ever felt cuckoo bananas, you're not alone, and I love you, and um, I'm here for you. And I feel like a lot of people think that like, uh, for, I'm like cool, and I have this cool life, and I live in L.A., and I fucking uh, dance, and I do whatever. Bitch, I had the worst week of my fucking life last week, and and I would never wish that upon any fucking buddy. And we all have our struggles, and um. 
don't kill yourself. You're too sexy. That's <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about my secondary 222 experience uh, because I believe last episode I talked about how I was going to my second 222 experience. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go back a few episodes and listen. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, as most of you know at this point, it's an app where um, it... it asks you questions it matches you with people that you think you would best get along with and you guys have dinner with each other you don't fucking know them you don't know anything about them you don't even know their names until you get to the like you don't know a fucking thing you don't get to see a profile like you just show up and you don't even know who the hell is going to be there um so this one was a dinner and a dinner and a arcade bar afterwards okay and the first one that i did was a dinner and a collage studio which was a very good time i had a really really good time and based off of that experience, I would recommend the app to anyone. I had a great time. (laughs) So this one was interesting to say the least. So let me give you guys the rundown. So the dinner started at 7 15 PM and it says in the app dinner is the, the, the reservation is the time the reservation is Make sure you get there on time. There's a 15 minute grace period. If you can't make it past then, like that's, you know, whatever. So I get there at 715, like pretty much on the dot. And there was one other girl at the table. And so I sit down. Her name was Rachel. I was like, hey, I remembered that because fucking my Rachel, um, my Rachel, like I own her, <laughs> my Rachel. <laughs> and, uh, she was really cool. She was, uh, we sat across from each other and she was really nice. And then I'm not going to like name drop everyone, but another, I only said that because fucking my bestie's name is Rachel. So I remember that. And then another guy shows up. Um, and then he sits down next to me and he was really cool as well. He was cool. You know, whatever. We're all kikiing. It was just the three of us. And at this point it's like now seven forty. It's just the three of us. And there's supposed to be, it's six people to a table. And there were other tables in the restaurant of people from two to two. You could kind of just like tell. And we're like, is it just going to be us three? And then the guy, he was like the last one that I went to, which was my first one. Only three of us showed up as well. So I wouldn't be surprised. So then I'd say maybe at like seven, yeah, like 740, 750. Um, probably, I'd say probably 740, another guy shows up. He was, he was sweet. He was a little like more shy, um, but nice. Like he, he was very nice. And, um, then I'd say maybe another 10, 15 minutes later, another girl shows up and we're like, okay, like everyone's just kind of staggering in. And it's kind of like awkward because it's like, we're already like established in conversation. And then now every time a new person sits down, we have to like re-explain all the things that we're saying about ourselves and shit and it's just like okay whatever and then um like it just wasn't flowing the way it should have been flowing you know what I mean and um the first like the first one that I went to everyone got there like at the time that we were supposed to fucking be there like we we all kind of showed up at the same time maybe within like five ten minutes of each other like and then we all fucking had a good time we all talked like that was it um but it was just like weird because it's like people like just like one by one every like 15 20 minutes another person was coming so we're like oh hey okay explaining all this shit that we all explained to each other already about like what do we do for work what's da 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 like and then we literally the the fucking uh the server comes up to us he's like hey our kitchen closes in like 20 minutes mind you it's only like 8 p.m at this point um they're, they're, they just closed early, I guess. It was some, like, fancy Mexican place. Also, it was all, like, the Michelin Guide. They don't have a Michelin star, but it's on the Michelin Guide. I'm like, I don't even really know what the fuck that means. Um, Was not that good. Let's first... I mean, it was, like, good, but it was... I was like, girl, this is not a Michelin Guide. Like, whatever. It didn't, like, blow my fucking brains out of my... You know? I was like, this is not... Not that good. Like, if, if you're... If you're gonna be on the Michelin Guide, this food better be, like... I was gonna say something really absurd. <laughs> Let me dial it back. You know what I mean? The food better be sucking my cock. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to say it. Um, But it wasn't. It just wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't getting me off. <laughs> and it wasn't. It just wasn't that good. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, So then this other girl, we order our food. It, dude, it's literally at this point, it's fucking like 820. Okay. It is an hour after the reservation. <laughs> At this point, like we and we only waited to order because we were still waiting to see like maybe if more people would show up. We literally ordered the food. 
maybe four or five minutes after we order the food, a fucking girl comes in and sits down. She's like, hey, we're like, you can't be serious. Like at this point, I'm like, this is a joke, right? Like this bitch cannot be for real. I'm like, oh my God. And she's like sitting there. And then like uh, the guy that was sitting next to me was like, oh, so what do you do? And she was like, everything. Girl, are you Jeff Bezos? Like, shut the fuck. Like, come on. Like, that just pissed me. So I'm like, okay, fucking, I cannot fucking stand her. <laughs> I was like, okay, hate that bitch. Like, I just was like, okay, already irritated. Didn't, not once did she be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, she kind of just showed up. She's like, I just got off work. Okay, then bitch, don't come. If you know you can't fucking make it in time, bitch, don't come, right? So then this is what pissed me off. So I'm like, okay, me trying to be nice. I'm like, oh my God, the, the server just said the kitchen's going to close. Let me go grab him because I don't want you to not be able to order anything, right? I'm like, even though you just got here, like, I don't mean, you know, I don't want to rush her, but the motherfucker said the kitchen's closing and we ordered the food five minutes ago. So what is she going to do? Sit here with twiddle her thumbs while we all eat our food? So then... I, and I had to go to the bathroom anyway. I'm like, okay, let me just tell the server. I'm like, hey, this girl, whatever, fuck him. He's like, okay, okay, okay. She puts her order in, dude. I go to the bathroom, I come back. As I'm coming back from the bathroom, they're, they're serving our food. She's putting in her order with, with the server. They're giving us our food. Our food is literally in front of us. I'm ready to dig in, right? I'm ready to, I'm like, okay. And then I notice no one else is picking up their utensils. Everyone's just kind of, we're all just kind of like looking at each other and we're like, because, you know, one, we don't fucking really know each other at all. We just met each other. So it's like, well, who's going to be the first one to eat? Like, you know, and me and Rachel are kind of looking at each other. We're like, girl, we're hungry. Like, we don't really, me and me and her kind of, you could tell we were on the same time. We were like, we don't really give a fuck about this. But like, um, and we kept sneaking like little bites of our food. Because um, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know you. Like, I do not know you. Like there's six of us at a table right now and five of us are sitting here with hot plates in front of us and we're all just like acting like the food isn't in front of us. It was so fucking uncomfortable. And and then you you would think, you would think that she would be like, oh my God, no, don't fucking wait for me, please. Please go ahead and eat. Please, five other fucking people that I don't know, eat your food that's in front of you. No, she acted like nothing was, she just is like continuing her conversation with whoever the hell, I don't even know what, what other person she was talking to at the table. And the table was like long, so I couldn't even like really talk to her because she's like all the way in the other, I was like, oh my fucking God, dude, if I don't freaking, and sometimes, I think maybe because I was like a little nervous too, sometimes if I like smell the smell of food and it's like in front of me, but I'm not eating it, like it makes me nauseous. I don't know. So that was what was happening. I was like, okay, I need to eat. But I knew if I eat, if I was eating it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't feel nauseous. So I was like, okay, this is starting to piss me off. Cause now, now it's making me feel fucking nauseous. I was like, this bitch really got me fucked up. I was just so irritated. I was so irritated. Um, and the fact, because if that was me, one, it wouldn't be me, bitch. Cause I would not show up an hour late and expect everyone to like act like everything was fine in a, with, with a fucking, in a room of people I don't fucking know. Um, when the shit says it to be on time. And then especially even if I did do that, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't fucking have five people sitting there acting like they don't want to eat their fucking food. And I'm sitting here sipping my little margarita being like, la, 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 la. So then you want to know what, okay. So then let's, let's keep going. So then after the dinner, um, Rachel was kind enough to save us the fucking headache of all trying to split it a million ways. Cause the server was like, oh, my computer only lets us split it three ways. So we're like, okay, cool. Um, also this place was a little pricey and I'm not one, you know, whatever, but I mean, I understand not, you know, we're not all fucking millionaires. Like I, am. <laughs> we're not all bajillionaires. Um, sorry to sip my water there, but I got a shrimp dish. It was like just shrimp and rice. And, um, and then we, and then we split a thing of guacamole. Uh, I spent $55. I'm like, okay. I didn't even get a drink. <laughs> Girl, I got water. I'm like, okay. I don't know. I was just like, okay, that's kind of a lot, but I mean, whatever, fucking LA. But the food wasn't even that good, man. I'm like, if this food like busted my top, then maybe. But like, it was not busting like that. It just really wasn't. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, and I'm like, damn, for the people who order drinks too, like, fuck y'all, spent like a hundred dollars on this fucking thing. So, um, Rachel put it on her card, and then we all zelled her, right? And um, 
we were all debating on if we wanted to walk to the arcade bar or if we wanted to drive. So that was kind of like a conversation we were having. Like we were like, oh, let's just walk. And then like we were all kind of down to walk, like as long as we, you know, all of us agreed to. But the one girl who got there late, she was like, oh, I'm not going to walk. I'll just see you guys there. And then we were like, okay, fucking, I guess we're not. Well, I don't know. So then we all were just like, uh, should we just drive? Like, I don't know. So then we were all like, fuck it. So we all drove over there, right? It was like, it was either like a 15 minute walk or like a four minute drive. So we were like, it was kind of the same thing as the collage studio. Granted, it was a little later. So it was dark out. Like when, when you walked to the collage studio one for the first experience thing that I did, it was like light out and like, it was like a nicer neighborhood. So we we're like, you know, whatever, fuck it. Let's just drive. So we drove over there um, and we go in and when we got there, it was me, Rachel, and then the guy that we were sitting next to, um, it was the three of us. We all parked at the same time. And then, mind you, there's three other people. There was the other guy and then the two other girls that we didn't see when we parked. So we just all went. And so we went in the three of us. This arcade bar was like, it was like, so the first time that we went to the collage thing, it was like a collage studio and like only the people from 222 were there. And it was probably like 30 other people, but it was like a curated experience for 222. This was just like a fucking free for all. They just, they were just like going, yeah, here, go. And I'm like, I don't even know who's here just cause or who's here for the fucking thing. Like we had no, there was no way of knowing. And then guess what? There was, cause half of the arcade bar was like retro games. And then the other half was pinball. Okay. So there was like two separate halves of this bar. And in the middle was like this like indoor outdoor area. And it was like really cute actually. Like it was a cool setup. But then there was a pinball tournament going on. There was like a freaking pinball championship going on. So like every Led Zeppelin fan, <laughs> it would just literally look like, like everyone's dad like was, was at the fucking pinball championship. I'm like, oh my fucking God, like, please everyone get your dads out of here. And I mean, I, and I fucking, I love me some pinball. I am a pinball enjoyer. Okay. So don't come for me. I am a pinball enjoyer. I very much do like pinball. It is very, um, aesthetically pleasing in my brain. I do like to hit the freaking things around and I do like pinball, but I'm like, damn, I can't even play pinball. Like if, if you can't even go to Bella Noche's, then where the hell can you go? Like if you can't even go play freaking pinball at the arcade bar, then where the hell can you even go? Like that shit was pissing me off. So I'm like, okay, you know what? And then we're all kind of just walking around and, uh, one of the, the other girl, not the one that showed up super late, but the one that came like second to last, she shows up and then she has like a friend with her, but it was like clearly someone that she like actually knew in real life. So then they kind of like disappeared off just the two of them. And I'm like, okay, I don't fucking know. And then, then we ended up finding the other guy. And then guess what? The other bitch never even showed up. Hey, the bitch that made us all wait to eat didn't even fucking come. So I'm like, well, honestly, great. Cause I didn't want to fucking hang out with her <laughs> anyways. But I'm like, is she so fucking serious right now? I was like, there's no way that this bitch is literally going to show up late as fuck. And then be like, yeah, see you guys there. And then just like not. I was like, oh my God, I want to fight her. <laughs> so, um, I was like, I cannot believe that this godforsaken app, this app <laughs> had the fucking nerve to think for a second that I would get along with a bitch like that. Put us both in the ring. How about that? Okay. She actually might beat my ass. She might, <laughs> um, yeah, there is no shot in hell I would ever hang out with someone like that. Um, but granted, it was cool. And, and like the first one, we were all like sharing Instagrams. We all like da 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 da. We were all having the best time of our freaking lives. This one, no one, none of us got each other's. And we were like, okay, nice to meet you. Bye. Like no one really vibed on that level. Like we really, you know what I mean? Um, but they were like, I mean, the people that I thought were cool were cool. And uh, after every experience, in the app, they have you rate the people that you went to dinner with, like, and you know, how it was, they have you rate everyone from a scale of one to 10, like how, um, well, do you think that they paired you with that person? And, um, I gave everyone like a seven or an eight, um, except for the last bitch. I was like, man, zero, zero. 
And I don't even know because when she said her name, it was like not the name that was in the app. So I'm like, I hope there wasn't like a mix up somewhere and I'm writing this bad review about like some random girl that like was supposed to be at her table and somehow wasn't. I don't fucking know. Um, or if that was like her nickname or something. But I was like, I don't think this is what this girl said her name was. But I was like, horrible. Showed up an hour late. Made us all fucking wait and then didn't even fucking show up to the fight. <laughs> I was like, boo, hated her. <laughs> um, but I think that's kind of how it is. I think that's kind of how the, uh, this experience is. It's like, uh, and I said, they were like, well, what's your, any other feedback? And I was like, I, I think that I will probably only attend two, two, two events that have for, for the secondary, cause it's usually dinner and then something else. I was like, I think that I'll probably only attend ones that are like a curated thing that is like specifically for, um, the people that are from so like no one it's not because we didn't even know who the fuck was who we're, we're all just like standing there we're like uh, okay now what um and uh because Rachel was talking about how her first one was like recently too and it was a ceramics class I'm like love that I would love to go do something like that like that's and, and then you know that everyone there is for is from fucking two 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 so it's like not like you're just thrown into a bar and you're like okay go go fucking figure out who's here for what and whose dad is here for the fucking Pink Floyd show. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really like that. I didn't like that at all. And, uh, yeah. But I think, you know, I'm still going to get – I'm not going to give up on the app because I do think it's like a cool uh, – I still think it's a really cool concept and it is a fun like experience and uh, it is a good time. It is a good time. So good or bad. Hey, it makes for content anyway at the end of the day that, you know, just it's, it's it always gives me something to talk about. So <laughs> that's all. And uh, I know I, I've been lagging on the merch. I've been lagging on the merch, but um, it is coming very soon. Don't you worry. Um, and I actually had a genius idea. I literally I was driving home yesterday from work. The sun was setting. I had the top down and this song came on on. I don't even know. It's not it's not a song I'd heard before. And I was like, "Whoa!" something awoke inside of me. I ha I literally had a Quentin Tarantino moment minus the feet. It doesn't he isn't isn't he weird with feet too? like how uh, what's his the Nickelodeon guy is too. Isn't isn't Quentin weird with feet too? OK, minus the feet. But I was like. Whoa! I had I just had like a director moment in my brain. Like I am I'm, I'm hearing this song and I'm like. The, the the promo video is is playing in my head I'm like okay wait 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 okay wait no I'm kind of eating here I'm like all right all right all right so first of all just know if I had a budget for this shit if I had a budget where I could have like a really fucking insane like videographer and like dude oh my god I would eat so hard you bitches are so lucky that I don't have a fucking budget yet okay this is it's gonna be <laughs> a little bit low budget but it's still gonna eat okay it's still gonna eat it's gonna be like a 30 second fucking promo video it's literally not gonna matter that much anyway um and I already have a few baddies a few baddies that are interested in helping so if you are in the LA or SoCal area and you don't mind coming to LA um within the next few weeks, whenever I decide to, to do this, if you would like to, uh, it doesn't matter, guy, girl, they, them, bitch, every, everyone, please. If you consider yourself a sexy, gorgeous baddie and you're not afraid to be in front of a camera, there's no, there's no words, there's no script, there's no acting because there's going to be a song playing over the whole thing. Um, if you want to come do this fucking video with us, uh, it's just gonna be like me and my friends and then some of the people from the Discord <laughs> Twitch. Um, some baddies that already said that they were uh they live in LA and they were like, Yeah, fuck it, I'm down. And you want to like model my merch in a silly little fucking minute long video? Um Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Because I need a few more a few more baddies to tap in. And uh I can't pay you, but I could buy you food. <laughs> that was what I said in the Discord. I'm like, I do not have the money to pay you, but I can I can buy buy you all dinner I could buy you all dinner so if you would like to and this is not gonna be an all-day thing it's gonna be like a two-hour thing you know we're gonna take a few shots shots girl not liquor come on not liquor you know we're gonna take a few little video shots um and uh, I have the idea in my head and it shouldn't be that bad shouldn't be that bad I might have to rent a peer space I might fucking <laughs> I might camp out in front of a motel and hope that they don't kick us out for taking videos. Um, either or, we're, we're not sure. But I, I there, it is going to be kind of a motel vibe. It's going to be kind of similar to um, to the first video I did, but like, but elevated, but elevated. 
And uh, the merch, I don't even have that that much merch. Like the merch, it's two t shirt It's a t-shirt, a hoodie, but it's the same print on both. <laughs> um because again, we don't have a budget. We don't really have a budget to be doing a million different prints because I didn't realize how expensive and hard it would be. Um, but once we, you know, get there, then eventually we can do that. And uh, a little keychain and what's, what's the other thing? There's something else. Hello? Oh, and a baby tee. And a baby tee. A crop top that has a different design on it. Um, so it's, yeah. Shirt and hoodie, same design. Baby tee and a keychain. That's it. That's all. That's all we can afford right now, my love. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's the official the official merch uh, thing. Again, if you're in LA and you're sexy, please hit my line um, urgently. Urgently. Message me on Instagram or Discord or whatever the fuck. And uh, yeah, that's it. Actually, Miso's being a very good boy right now. He is knocked the fuck out. Usually uh, he's being pretty bad, but I am kind of re recording a little later in the day. Um, it's 5 p.m. right now, so <clears throat> usually... I'll feel like I record at like one and he's like fucking bouncing off the walls. But this is his nap time, I guess. Um, I had a dream last night. I had a dream last night. And y'all ever have one of those dreams and you're like, Ooh. well, you ever had a dream that you had with someone that you've never actually had with before, but that you are like attracted to them? I had a dream me and Rachel ran a two man. <laughs> I had a dream me and Rachel ran a two man on two people that we that we know. And it was great. It was a good call. And now I'm like in my and okay, guys, I'm not gonna go into it, but said person. I'm not going to disclose their gender. I'm not to I'm I'm going to really keep you guys guessing. Said person texted me last week inviting me out somewhere. I didn't end up going cuz I was working. But then I ended up leaving early that day cuz I didn't make money. So I'm like I fucking should have just went. But said person had texted me and I was just like is that why I'm having a dream cuz I I never had dreamed about this person ever. But I always thought they were sexy so I'm like come on like what's really tea like I don't know like what's really going on so it was just one of those dreams where I woke up and I was like do you want me wanna love me like this? <laughs> and I was like oh my god that was so much fun and we were at like a house party and I was sucking cocking ass and tits and okay no I'm kidding I'm kidding but was I or was I not like I don't know maybe I was it's a dream. Guys, I cannot control Dream Vanilla, okay? I don't know. She is, that's a different entity, okay? Dream Vanilla is sucking everything. Like, girl, I cannot control her, okay? And then I had another dream also that was, like, unrelated to this first dream that I was in, like, Mexico or somewhere, and I was, like, on vacation, but I was, like, having a good time, and I wasn't anxious. Because even Dream Me would be like, oh, I'm anxious. <laughs> like, girl, I can't even escape it in my dreams. Um... But I was on a vacation. Can you believe that? Um, yeah, so that was really that was really fun. <clears throat> uh, dream me had a fucking ball last night, which is good, which is good to know. I'm like, okay, that's good that, that dream me is having a good time. Um, because sometimes I have dreams that like people that I love are like being really mean to me. So what is that about? Like people that I care and love, care about and love are just being mean, just straight up just fucking shitting on me in dreams. So I don't know what, what that is about because I don't feel like I'm like an insecure person. Um... But in my dream world, damn, <laughs> they be fucking me up. Let me tell you. Um, how long have I been recording for? I'm going to check because usually I have a good gauge at, at gay, gay, gay. Pride month is almost here. What are y'all doing for pride month? Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just, <laughs> let me check how I record it. <laughs> Please. We're at 46 minutes. We got a few more minutes. Um, <clears throat> But uh, what are y'all doing for Pride Month? Like, what's on the agenda? I want to, like, do Pride stuff, but, like, I'm, like, scared to go to, like, the big ones. Like, WeHo, like, Pride, like, the parade. Like, I don't know. That's, that just seems like a lot for little old me. Seems like a lot for little old me. Also, you like my bunny slippers? Shout out Alondra. Um, I think I've showed them on here before. Uh, but that's pretty, much, that's pretty much all I have written down to talk about today. Um, 
<laughs> dude, I am still, dude, literally, I'm like this about this dream. Like, I don't know what the freak it was. Like, oh my God, like, I literally. <sighs> I need to have sex with a new person. <laughs> I need some new pussy, dick, ass, something, bitch. Like, come on. Like, where's the fret? Like, where's the new, exciting? Not that, hey, I'm not saying that that the dick or pussy, the old dick or pussy that I be getting sometimes, me acting like I get any of that. Well, <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to say, you know, that it's not good because it is. But I, but I would, you know, just something about a new person. And like, just there is just nothing more fun than like building up that sexual tension with someone. There is nothing more fun than that. Like, come on, like, can someone like pretend that they're like into me? Can can I like can we like go out somewhere? Can me and someone like go out somewhere and we're like at a party and we're like talking, but our faces are like just a little bit closer than like you normally would with another person? You know, like things like that drive me up a fucking like, ah, I'm literally a bitch. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm literally, this is me in my jail cell and I'm pulling the metal bars apart like this. I need that. I need that today. Hello. I need that right now. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been yearning. I've been yearning for something like that. Um, And I'm just like, ugh, I fucking hate dating apps. I hate all that shit, bitch. Like. All I do is yearn. All I do is yearn for love and 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 lust and wonder. I'm just lonely, bro. I'm just lonely as hell. <laughs> Get Vanilla some fucking some fucking ass challenge, literally. Get this bitch. <laughs> it's like a new Mr. Beast video. What would what would the premise of that be? The first person to go 30 days without lusting over one person wins $10 million. <laughs> We're going to put 60 sexy people in a room and the first, <laughs> like I would, bitch, oh, I would lose. I would lose so fast. If y'all were all sexy and had aura. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this tea with this whole aura thing? I think honestly, something about this whole aura like the, the freight, like, oh, he has aura. She has aura. Oh, the aura. It's so like Gen Z, but I, I'm kind of eating it up. And you know who I realized who has aura? Um, uh, Mickey, the, the new, well, he's not like new, but like new to me, <clears throat> the artist, look him up. It's MK dot G E. I literally thought it was M K G. I literally thought it was M K G. Like I thought that's how he said it, but apparently it's pronounced Mickey. His Instagram says his name is Mike. Let's look at his Instagram. Do I know what his face looks like? No, because his hair covers his face in like every picture. But he has aura. Oh man, he has aura. I want to suck him. <laughs> I am the killer today. Okay, I'm sorry. I We were crying 30 minutes ago and now I'm talking about sucking people off. Like what the freak? Like I don't know if he's actually sexy or if he just has aura. Like he's just a perfect example of someone who has aura. So yeah, go look him up. Go listen to his music. <laughs> dude i am i am losing it i'm freaking losing my marbles um anyway yeah i would lose that mr beast challenge but uh let's take <laughs> let's take our caller for the day um also don't don't be my ass if some of you have have sent sent in calls and i haven't used all of them um <laughs> one some of y'all just be saying absolutely fucking nothing <laughs> and two for some reason i'll be scrolling and I'll see one that is like from like months ago and for some reason I never saw it until right now um but this is one that is from a few months ago but we are gonna take it today um so let's see what they have to say Vanilla's Villa how can I help you hey Vanilla I am so excited for my stay at the villa I love you and the podcast so right now I'm a current freshman in college I go to a public university and I love it and However, I went to Catholic school my entire life before this, which was a mess, as you can assume, and completely different. And when I was there, I was never able to comfortably address my sexuality. But now that I do go to public university, that's absolutely something I can do. And I know that I'd love to be in a relationship, that I would love to be a great girlfriend and love to love someone. But I think that I'm feeling this way because it feels kind of impending and it feels like everyone else around me 
is in a relationship, and I mean, that could be me projecting because yesterday was Valentine's Day. But um, you know, I, I would love to say that 2024 is the year of anything for me for the first time because I've never been in a relationship. So I was wondering if you've ever dealt with relationship peer pressure, or if you could even just share your favorite parts about being single and what you value about just growing yourself before you get into a relationship with someone else. Cute. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Thank you. And like, yeah, as you, you could tell that was kind of an older one because she said <laughs> Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Girl, that shit been passed. Um, but that I think that's actually a really good call and a very good topic um, because a lot of people don't really talk about how sometimes people get into relationships just because they feel like they need to be in one. Um, in my experience, well, first let's start off. Congratulations, um, Queen, for surviving Catholic school. Uh, basically, a lot of people that I know that went to Catholic school were like the worst <laughs> and they all ended up being like drug addicts and like fucking cuckoo banana people. I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, so if you went to Catholic school, I am praying for you <laughs> because I know that shit is not for the week. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy that you're in a public university and you're able to, you know, live your life as you please and you don't feel, uh, you know, that you have to, you know, conform to any fucking standard of the Catholic school or whatever the fuck. But congratulations. Um, I do think that people, especially younger people, especially in college too, and if you are surrounded by a lot of people that are in relationships and a lot of your close friends all have partners or whatever, like seeing people and you're kind of like the only one that isn't, I do feel like um, I could see how that kind of makes you feel like an outcast in a way and like you don't really relate to them uh, in that sense. But I don't think that that necessarily means that you have to be in a relationship because I feel like if you're like trying to like push yourself into one or like rush yourself into one, then like it's not going to end up being something that is going to be worth your time anyway. I don't think I ever felt necessarily relationship peer pressure from other people. But I think that maybe there have been times where I've felt it, I guess, for myself, just been like, man, I'm lonely as hell. Like, I want to be loved on. And I get I, that's real. But um, in my younger days, I did date some very, very questionable people, as some of us have. And, you know, you guys know some of these stories. Um, you guys have heard all of my tea, essentially, at this point. Um, but... I don't, I mean, like, the some of the people that I dated when I was younger literally ruined me for, like, periods of times, uh, and they were, like, the worst people ever. Not all of them, but some of them. And uh, I think that it's kind of a blessing that you haven't even, like, had to experience that. Uh, granted, I do think it, it it is good to, like, date around and, like, kind of see what you like, what you don't like, and, you know, shit like that, because... I do feel like, and I've said this before, that the relationships that I were in when I was younger, um, as shitty as they may have been, but a, a lot of them have really, uh, what's the term that I'm looking for? A lot of them have like made me the person that I am today. And I feel like I may, I may, if I didn't go through those when I was younger, that I may be like a little bit of like a pushover now. Um, because I was a pushover back in the day. But uh, now I'm not. Now I'm a hard, a hardened fucking individual. Um, but I think you should just, you know, take it easy. Whatever's, whatever is going to come to you is going to fucking come to you regardless. That's the way that I think about shit. Like, whatever's meant for you is going to fucking find you. Um, and whether it's there to teach you a lesson or you know, be something good. <laughs> and, and, and lessons like doesn't always have to like a relationship doesn't always have to end bad for it to teach you a lesson. But, um, I don't think, I mean, I mean, Hey, maybe, maybe there's an update. This is a three month old call. So, Hey, maybe if you have an update on that, please let us know. Um, but I think, you know, and it's kind of nice that you, if you're single, you can kind of casually date around and you don't have to like be tied down to anyone. You could just kind of see what you want. I do. I know that you did say you want to be a girlfriend and you're kind of like, you feel like you're ready for that. Um, but hey, it's just one of those things you don't know until you fucking do it. You don't know until you try, baby. So but just put yourself out there and, you know, see what happens. The universe will fucking get whatever's meant for you is going to come to you, girl. Just just don't just don't do the most, you know, just just fucking 
Just just open yourself to it. Open yourself. Open your legs. <laughs> just open your freaking legs. Just open yourself to the idea of it and something is bound to come to you. Um and I, I think that's good enough advice. I be I'd be feeling like like I don't say I, I say so much, but yet nothing at the fucking same time. <laughs> so I don't know if the, any of that resonates with you. Uh take what you what you feel like does. And uh, if any if any of that doesn't resonate with you, fucking pretend you didn't even hear it. Um but yeah, I think I think that's where we're gonna call it this week. Uh, this was a kind of whirlwind of an episode, but I think this this was a fun one. I had, I had fun recording this one. Um, yeah, you already know, and I'm I'm saying this every episode. Merch coming soon, <laughs> merch. And um, I did take a little bit, like from my uh my past week, I did take a little a little hiatus on the stream, but I am streaming tonight, which is Tuesday. Um, and I'll probably be streaming a few other days this week as well, and um. Thank you all very, very much for bearing with me through my little, uh, my little hiatus, my little kind of, cause I kind of took a social media hiatus at the same time too. I usually am like pretty active in my discord and, um, I'm on Twitch like four or five days a week usually at this point. And, uh, I kind of didn't really do either of those. I would just kind of give like <clears throat> daily check-ins if not like every other day, just being like, Hey, I'm alive. <laughs> and, uh, everyone was very, very supportive. So thank you again. Thank you guys seriously for, um, understanding that I needed a little bit of a break, um, just for my own fucking brain and, uh, we're feeling better. And hopefully this Prozac, it changes me into a new woman. Yay. And hopefully I don't gain weight. Cause I know that's another thing too, that you gain weight on medications. But since I didn't have an appetite this week, I did lose a few pounds. So I'm a little skinnier now. I know you can probably tell, I, I look like I'm shrinking in the screen. I know you probably like when you first turned the episode on, you were like, oh my God, I can't even see her. But um, don't worry, guys. It's still me. It's still me. Don't worry. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love you guys. And I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye.